Once upon a time, there was only one version of Minecraft. It was played only on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Microsoft decided that wasn't enough, so they got involved and created a bunch of different versions for different devices, and named the original version Java Edition. Later on, these other versions became communally known as Bedrock Edition. Although both under the same roof, Java and Bedrock never played nice. But there is a way to bring both versions together in harmony, and that is what you will learn how to do in this video. Without further ado, let us make haste and begin. Before we start, I just want to mention that this process is easier than it has ever been, and I'm sure you can do it regardless of your level of technical expertise. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, we're gonna go download Fork. Fork is going to make things a lot easier when we are managing our server, but it is optional. So you don't need to, but I highly recommend. Second, we're gonna go to playit.gg and we are going to download their Playit program. They do have a Minecraft plugin, um, but it will not work with Geyser. Speaking of Geyser, we're gonna have to download that too. We're gonna click download. And then from here, we're gonna click geyserspigot.jar. And then if you want your Bedrock clients to be able to connect without having to have a Java account, download Flugit as well. And scroll down, go to download and click floodgatespigot.jar. One thing I almost forgot to mention is if your server version is not the latest version of Minecraft, you will actually need to download the Vue version. I actually need to do this as well since 1.19.3 was just released and paper doesn't support it yet. Now that we have downloaded all of these files, we are going to install and launch Fork, which I've already done. We are going to create a new server. Vanilla will not work. You have to use paper or spigot. I'm going to use paper. All right, and we can choose our settings. I'm going to enable the whitelist. That is optional, but I'm going to do it. It's just my habit. I'm going to create the server. It's going to download all the server files for us. And now our server is set up. Let's go ahead and go to plugins and open them file explorer. From here, we're going to drag and drop these into our plugins folder. That's how we install plugins. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and start our server. Now that our Minecraft server is running, let's go ahead and minimize this. I'm actually going to create a new folder called play it so that I can put that into there because it does create an extra uh, file and I don't want it to make a mess on my computer. So I'm going to launch the play it program and it's going to launch my browser. I can minimize this for now. And it's going to ask us to create a new account if we haven't already. You can use a guest account if you like as well. And then we have to add the agent, which is what's running on the in the background of the computer. Click Add Agent. Now it's connected to the agent on our computer. Let's add Tunnel, Minecraft Java, next, next, create Tunnel. Now, Minecraft Java is set up and this is the IP that you will send to your friends for them to connect to. Super easy. Now, what about Minecraft Java? That's why we download Geyser. And we have to set that up and play it as well because it's a separate port. Let's go ahead and click Add Tunnel, Minecraft Bedrock, next. And then this is the port for Minecraft Edition. Next, Create Tunnel. And this is the IP and port that you are going to send to your friends for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Okay, believe it or not, we are actually almost done. If we go ahead and add our server, which we type in the IP and the port that Playit gave us, and then we enter a name, click save, and try to join server, it's actually going to give us this error. This is normal. I will show you how to fix it in just a second. To allow our friends on Bedrock to connect, we're actually going to have to stop the server first. And then we're going to have to get to the uh, folder for our Minecraft server, which I use the world section 
to get there. Now, let's go down to server.properties. Now, this looks complicated, but it's actually very simple. All we have to do is go find or secure profile. And where it says true, just change this to false. Press control S and X this out. Now we can just go ahead and start up the server again. And our Bedrock friends should be able to connect now. Let's go try it. Okay, so since I enabled the whitelist, it's going to tell me that I'm not whitelisted on the server when I try to connect again. This is very easy to fix, but Minecraft Bedrock usernames for a Java server are slightly different. So let's go over to our server console and try to whitelist our Minecraft Bedrock client. So my Minecraft Xbox gamer tag is mcortic1. So we're gonna type in whitelist add, and then we're gonna type in dot mcortic1. The dot before whatever your Xbox username is will enable your friends to be able to join when you add them. So now added dot my mcortic1 to the whitelist. Let's go back and try to reconnect. Yay, it worked and it looks very snowy right now. And as you can see, I am running on Bedrock on a Java server. Yay, it works. Now that everything is set up for Bedrock players to join, we can join from our Windows computer on our Bedrock client, but there's still an issue. What about console players? Below the future servers list, console players do not have this additional servers menu where they can add servers. They only have the featured servers. How do they connect? All they have to do actually is go to the friends tab, add friend, type in public GC. And then from there, they can friend this user and this actually allows them to connect to their proxy. And once you join their game that shows up in the friends tab, you click on direct connect or custom servers you can add your own and type in the server details. Make sure it says Bedrock Geyser Server, click Submit, and then it's actually going to redirect us to our server. And this doesn't interact with the server list at all, so that makes things super easy for console players to connect. So you have friends on Nintendo Switch and Xbox and PlayStation, and they want to get, get in on all the fun then feel free to guide them over to this. It makes things super easy and they can join as well. Okay, so the last part of the puzzle would be to allow our friends from Java to be able to join, as I didn't show that yet, but it's very straightforward. So this is our Minecraft Bedrock IP and port, and it's pretty similar for Minecraft Java. This is it right here. And you can go ahead and copy that. And you can go over to Minecraft Java, we can add server, and then we can go ahead and join. And then as you can see, I've loaded in to my Minecraft Java server, which can also allow Minecraft Bedrock friends to join. One extra note I want to add is that you can actually connect to your server that's running on your own computer by typing in zero or you can type in, type in local host and this goes for any server that's running on your own computer so this is the one that we added just now we can join this and it works just as the other one does but since it's running on our, on our own computer we're connecting via local host and it may be a stable or connection for you. All right, so that's it. Um, that's really all you needed to. Oh, that was a lag spike. Yeah, so that's it. That's all you really need to know to do. Set up your 
uh, Minecraft server so that all your friends can join from Bedrock or Java. Um, it all works uh, very easy. Uh, and by the way, making Bedrock friends being able to join your Java server does not mean that your Java friends are playing on like a changed version version of Minecraft. It's still Minecraft Java, and uh, it's just allowing Bedrock players to be able to connect. Uh, it's still a Minecraft Java server. Uh, no Bedrock elements are added to the game. Nothing about Java is changed. So I just want to make that clear. Uh, but yeah, that's just about everything. Go ahead and beat up my Bedrock player. And that's fine. Uh, you can hear the hitting in the background. The slight delay because it's on running in the background. Um, for my Bedrock player. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, be sure to give me a thumbs up if this helped you. Um, and this is my second video, so, you know, um, uh, I think I did okay. Uh, just give me some feedback, maybe even like a, a better video editor school if it's free. <laughs> um, because, you know, um, I don't want to pay much money to, just to make YouTube videos, uh, for now, especially if it's not earning me anything. Uh, but yeah, that's... That's just about everything, and I hope you found this useful. I hope that you can play with all your friends very easily, and that everything goes well. Um, have a good day. Bye.